everyone this is shikha from your pd education and today we are going to discuss about beml shortlisting so guys beml shortlisting has been out and we are going to discuss about typical hr question related to rnd related to marketing related to you know assistant manager and all these things all right so on these post shortlisting has been out from beml and now students have to prepare for their pi that is personal interview so your pdr is providing you a number of typical hr questions which might help you in your final interview all right and even we are mentoring you for different domains different hr questions for different kind of you know organizations all right so you can prepare with your pdr and even you will get uh, i would say proper documentation in in which you will get 100 plus questions of hr so today we are going to discuss about typical hr questions all right related to beml typical hr questions hr questions uh, for officer senior manager role and assistant manager grade 3 production assistant manager grade 3 r&d and engineer grade 2 marketing okay now as this is a vast domain so we will divide this in two videos first half will cover till uh, you know i would say yeah assistant manager grade 3 and after that we'll cover assistant manager grade 3 r&d and marketing All right. Let's just start. What can be the possible questions of HR related to BEML? All right. So please have a look and pay attention here. Expected typical HR question related to BEML is: Can you tell us about yourself and your professional background? What motiv motivated you to apply for this? I would say uh, position at BML. Uh, how do your skills align with the roles and responsibility? Can you describe a challenge you have faced in your previous job and how you handled it and how you prioritized tasks when working under tight deadlines? See, it is related to typical HR questions that if these kinds of problems or these kinds of you know scenarios you can see uh, you know in your organization. On that base, these typical HR question have been made related to BEML. How would you face challenge? Had you face any challenge in your previous job? How would you do work in you know under tight deadlines? how would you manage time according to that something like that okay after that how do we approach team collaboration when in fast paced environment can you provide an example of how you have led all right a, a team through a difficult project strategies do you use to resolve conflicts in a team setting motivate your team to achieve goals manage a difficult colleague how do you handle it and you should have a problem solving skills okay you know strategies to make uh, to motivate your team to work from office to work more basically all right and i would say you know you need to be uh, how you will set conflicts in a team because conflicts leads between top management between labor class between as there is a hierarchy so conflict would be always there so how would you going to be cater it out these kinds of question you may face in this typical hr question All right. How do you assess risk, risk and benefits from making a decision? Your decision making process should be very strong while you're going for typical HR round. All right. Next is give an example of a project where you have decision positively impact the team or outcome. How do you handle failure? You would say lessons you have learned. What was your failure? Uh, do you have you know had you any failure till now? What you have learned from that failure? These kinds of question you might see in every kind of typical HR round. Okay. Describe a time when you had to manage multiple priorities. How did you ensure timely completion? Stay organized in your work. Okay. Have you ever faced a situation where you had to adapt to sudden changes? You guys always used to say, "Ma'am, I'm very adaptable. I'm very flexible." So these kinds of question can ask you how much you're adaptable. Would you adapt a sudden change, a sudden rule and regulation? We might always counter for that. All right. So how much capable you are to adapt a new change? That shows your adaptable. all right these kinds of things you can get it out describe a time when you disagree with a colleague or manager how did you resolve it how do you approach conflicts in the workplace okay situation where you had to mediate a disagreement between team members communication style how do you tailor it for different audiences feedback both giving and receiving how would you give feedback how would you receive feedback how would you react to that these kinds of question you might see in your typical hr question because these kinds of things you may see in every kind of organization all right and it it is your basically test of your you know uh, i would say skills it's a test of your personality that what kind of personality you are okay 
Now, how do you plan to leverage your skills to meet the demands of BML's production R&D needs? What challenges do you foresee in working at BEML? What motivate, motivates you in your career? Why do you choose this field? Where do you see yourself in five years? Personal, professional goals, career achievement, significance. Unique compared to other candidate of disposition, situation where your team misses a critical deadline. And uh, how would you react if there were a sudden budget cut affecting your department? All right. So these are the questions, these are the typical HR questions related to, you know, these kinds of questions can ask you uh, in any typical HR role. All right. Just have, have a look to the expected HR question for officer manager role. Okay. Those who are going for the officer senior manager role, just have a look to this, uh, you know, questions. That is, what leadership style do you follow and how does it impact your team? Alignment between team objectives and organizational goals. What methods do you use to monitor and evaluate team performance? This is related to you. If you are a leader and if you consider yourself a team leader, how would you lead the team? What are your goals? What are your expectations from your team? And what are your, you know, what can be a boss expectation from you? What are your goals and is they different from your team goals? Something like that. Okay. So these difficult, uh, not difficult, these differently questions you need to be, you know, uh, prepare like that. Can you share an experience where you improved a business process? How do you handle resistance to change within your organization? Experience do you have in managing budget and financial planning as you are going for the officer senior manager role? You need to know the budgeting. I would say, you know, managing the things finance related. Okay. See, there's a term given by the Luther Gulick that is post co. Okay. That you can say it out. P-O-S-T-C-O-R-P. Which means planning, organizing, staffing, directing, reporting, coordination and budgeting. All right, these, this, uh, you know, when you just expand these words, P O S D C O R B, reporting, budgeting. This is a managerial, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, this has been given for the administrative term. As when you are into the organization, you need to manage all these things. And specifically, when you're going for the office senior manager role, you need to look after this term, you need to look after this concept. Same goes for here budget allocation, how would you do that? How would you do financial planning? KPIs, what strategies do you employ for optimizing operational efficiency? How do you manage a critical operational issue? How do you balance short term and long term business objectives? All right. Next, uh, you know, yeah, these are the expected, those were the expected question for the senior manager role. Now coming towards the expected HR questions for assistant manager grade three production. How do you handle production scheduling to meet delivery deadlines? Methodologies do you use for production planning, maintain quality control in high production? Okay, environment describe the situation where you improve production processes. If you are going for production man, uh, you know, as a manager or production officer, you need to, you should have a managing skills, you should have a productive skills. How you can make that product, you know, particular thing more productive, and how would you enha enhance the production, all like that. Raw materials and inventory that you need to be take care of, workforce planning in production with safety and regulatory standards, okay? Describe a time when you optimize production cost with compromising quality, okay? Uh, you know, the question can be, would you compromise the quality of the product if it would be more expensive or like that, okay? That need to be checked it out. Next is, assistant manager grade three, R&D. All right, R&D, uh, you know, question related to R&D. What experience do you have in leading R&D projects? How do you prioritize research projects based on business needs? Can you provide an example of innovative product you help develop? And uh, what strategies do you use for fostering innovation with your own team? Manage this transition of a product from R&D to production. How do you keep up with the latest trends and technology in your field? Okay. What is your take on, a, uh, you know, take on AI basically related to the R&D, technology use, field use basically, how would you cater the products? The strategies to enhance, strategies to, I would say, marketing of a new launch product, these kinds of things, all right? So you must aware about these kinds of questions, being, a, I would say, productive or R&D officer, what questions you need to be prepared. Reso uh, you know, how do you manage intellectual property, IP rights in R&D projects, okay? What is the approach to managing multidisciplinary teams in R&D? Done. Now, these are the questions related to engineer grade to marketing. Now, marketing is the biggest skill when you have to run a business, when you have to run an organization. 
because this decides your profit and loss this decides your staying or going out or like that this particular decides how much efforts you are putting uh, in particular domain all right and marketing needs to be tested a number of time mind it your marketing skills would be checked every day so you must prepare for these kinds of questions what is the experience in developing marketing strategies for technical products okay how would identify and target the right audience and uh, for a new product you launching a new product how would you target the audience and what kind of uh, you know audience you will cater it out how would you go through with them how would you famous that project uh, you know product basically and uh, you know increase the demand of that product like that okay how do you stay uh, you know can you share experience when you marketing strategy increase sales updated on marketing trends and competitors digital market for industrial industrial products how do you manage relationship with key clients and stakeholders can you describe a time when you successfully resolved a customer complaint customer grievances customer complaints customer doubts and queries uh, being a sales and marketing head or being in that kind of field we need to cater all these kinds of questions all right and when you go for your personal interview these questions might ask to you by your by your recruiter by your interviewer that being a, if you are going for the sales and marketing so how would you handle all these things all right so mind it that these questions will help you out if you are preparing in such kinds of thing all right what steps do you take to ensure customer satisfaction negotiation with clients how do you gather and use customer feedback to improve products or services as so whenever we used to uh, you know uh, sell any kind of product we used to take reviews we used to take feedback and how you can use that and use that to enhance your services you can show that reviews to your customers you can satisfy them you know these ratings criteria 4.5 out of 5 5 out of 5 this will enhance your services your marketing basically and it will hence your in your working as well okay so these kinds of questions you need to be prepare okay so uh, hr question for engineer grade 2 r&d what specific technical skills make you good for fit for this r&d role technological advancement in your field example of a research project that led to a significant breakthrough how do you balance the need for innovation and with practical constraints such as cost and time okay cost and time two different concepts two different things how would you you know take out is the parallel how do you enhance cost how do you in the less time basically okay these are you can say inversely proportional or like that okay okay how do you collaborate with production teams to ensure successful product implementation what is the approach to working with external research partners on vendors can you describe time when you had lead a cross functional team to achieve goal cross functional is a type of team okay just please understand this concept and answer accordingly how do you answer, uh, ensure clear communication between r&d and other department faced when collaborating other teams uh so yeah this is the document uh, you know related to different hr question related to beml all right so guys uh, you know officer senior manager role production manager r&d and i would say uh, you know marketing so these hr question have been given in this particular document which we have just discussed in this video so as these questions are very typical and specific and very important hr questions so we have covered all the question in this one video you can watch this video properly to have a look to these questions or please do not uh, you know forget to download the uh, document from your pdf panel so that you can download and you can check out all the important questions related to beml also you can prepare with your pdf different mentors who are preparing you for different hr domains all right make your personality strong confident when you are going for your pi so that you will not feel any nervousness you know you know you will not feel under confident while giving for the pi all right when you have to face your interview when you have to face your recruiter you must have a you know positive attitude on your face related to these kinds of question it means you need to be prepare such kinds of question which might give you a confident to sit in that pi of bema all the very best and if you have any query any doubt uh, you know a google form link has been given in the description box or specifically please again i'm telling you do not forget to download this document so that you can have clarity for the questions and you can prepare these kinds of question with your pdm mentors all the very best